Hello everyone, let's start with exercise 2.3, question number 1, NCRT example. So it says find the zeros of the following polynomials by factorization method. So we need to factorize the term 4x square minus 3x minus 1. So in this we are given with fx, fx equal 4x square minus 3x minus 1. Now what we need to do is we need to split the middle term. Now how to do middle term splitting is we need to take a and we need to take c. So we have 4 and 1. So we get 4 into 1 as 4. Now we need to take the factors of 4 such that we can make minus 3x the middle term. So I think 4 into 1 is the best suited and we can make minus 3 out of it. So 4x square. Now how to write 4 and 1? It will be written as minus 4x plus 1x. Why? Because the middle term we split must be equal to the two terms we have split it to. That is minus 3x equal minus 4x plus 1x. Now what we need to do is we need to take common from the first two terms. So it is 4x. Now the leftover part for or the first term is x, x minus 1 plus 1 x minus 1. So we have two terms here that is 4x minus sorry 4x plus 1 and x minus 1. So here we have two values that is 4x plus 1 equals 0 and x minus 1 equals 0. So from the second we get x equals 1. From the first we get x equal minus 1 over 4. So these are the two zeros we have from this equation. Now what we need to do is next is verification. So the, the zeros are here. Now we need to verify the answer. So for verifying we know that we have alpha plus beta and we have alpha dot. So alpha let alpha be minus 1 by 4 and beta be 1. So what we need to do is alpha plus beta. So it will be minus 4 plus 1. Now taking LCM we get minus 1 plus 4 which equals 3 over 4. Now we know that alpha plus beta is equivalent to minus b over a. Now we have the equation here. Equation is 4x square minus 3x minus 1. b is minus 3. And a is 4, the first term. So b is minus 3 and a is 4. Minus minus gets cancelled out. We get 3 over 4 which is equivalent to these two. Now we have alpha dot beta. Alpha dot beta is product of two numbers. That is minus 1 over 4 into 1. So it will be minus 4 only. Now we know alpha dot beta equals c over a. Now we need to verify the verify the answer as well. So c over a, c is minus 1, a is 4. So c is minus 1 and a is 4. Now you can see that we get the same values here of c over a and alpha dot beta. So hence verified that we have zeros as minus 1 over 4 and 1. So that's your answer for question number 1. Thank you for watching this video.